Now the idea of this year in this video, we want to learn how to integrate Revit and Blender, which are two great and powerful softwares for modeling, rendering, texturing, and all of the works that you need in OEC industry. In this video, we will learn three ways to bring our Revit files into Blender, and also we will learn three ways to bring our Blender files in Revit if you need any one of those. First of all, for example, we have this sample project is here, which we've uh, taught you how to model this from zero to here you can watch the video later after that you can uh, find it on the channel and now we want to bring it uh, and export it to Blender you have three ways to do that you can uh, export it by FX file to do that you need to go to the 3D, file, 3D view and then in here you need to go to the file menu and in the file menu click on export and create an export and FX export from here Let's select it and let's uh, export it on the place that we want. Let's call it FBX project. Also, you can change the, can change some settings from here. Use LOD or naming and those kind of things. And I don't want the boundary age, so the settings are fine with me. Click on save and then we will have our FBX file. I will, I will create the files that we need and then we will learn how to import them in Belen. Okay, the second way is IFC or Industry Foundation class. Uh, the, uh, the benefit of the second way is that you can have your data in Blender 2. You can filter and see the objects and elements according to their metadata. To do that, go to the file menu and again click on export. And this time you need to select the IFC from here. And in IFC, you have some settings. You can go to the modify setup port and in here you can create a new setup for yourself. For example, let's call it setup one. And in the setup, you can change all of these things. For example, I want IFC four in here. Let's put it on IFC four, reference view. And for the other parts, I'm not going to change them. And for the detail level, let's go to the level of detail. And I want the level of detail to be high because it's a rendering part or texturing part of our process. So we need a high quality model okay that's great click on okay and let's browse and let's find a way for example i want to save it at the same place let's call it ifc project and click on save and export now after a year <laughs> it was very long we have our ifc file the third way is a little bit uh indirect but it is better because we will have our uh colors in our blender file too that is Colada file. But how we can export Colada file? If you watch our Revit to Lumion series, you know that we have a Lumion Live Sync uh, plugin. I will put the link in the description. And then after you install that, you will have this tab in here, and then you can create a, a Colada export file from your uh, from your Revit file. To do that, click on the setting and specify the detail and the smooth thing that you want. For example, let's put it on normal for this. Uh, for this session and click on OK and then click on export and specify the path and you will, you will have the options again click on export and specify the path you want to save your file and then click on save and then we will have our Colada file and after that we will learn how to bring all of these three files in our Blender now we are in Blender uh, space and user interface and we want to bring those three files here the first one was FX. To bring FX, go to the file and import and just click your FX file. For example, we have our FX in here. And let's select the FX file that we've created. This was the FX file. You will have some options in here. You can scale it, you can offset it, and you will have your subdivision data if you want. And you can apply transform to it and you can do some of the basic things in here. I don't want to do anything, so click on import FX and wait a little bit. Now you can see we have our file in here. For example, let's select this one. Let's bring it into edit mode. You can move the faces. For example, let's put it on face. And in here you can move it and you can do modifications in Blender 2. Let's create a new file with Control N and click a general file. I don't want to save this one. Let's delete it. And then the second way was IFC to be able to bring IFC files, you need to install Blender Beam add-on. To install that, go to the blenderbeam.org and to the get add-on uh, panel and then download it according to your 
system OS and then after that let's go to the edit and preference and in here let's click on install and find the zip file that you downloaded and you will have your blender beam plugin and you need to activate it blender beam or import export blender beam add-on after that when you install that you will have a import ifc option you can go to the import and in here click on industry foundation class and select the ifc file that you have created for example this one you will have some options in here but i don't want to do anything again click on import project and wait a little bit and the benefit of this process as i said is that you will have your data and you can work with, the, uh, with your data and beam data in blender 2 now this is the ifc file you can see some lines these are our grids and you can see we have our colors too that's a point in here and you can select any object go to the edit mode and you can see it is i don't like the geometry of the uh, ifc file you can see it's not that great and subdivision is not that great and it's terrible we can say so in that case ifc is not that great but if you want it as a reference and you want to have a great uh, grouping you will have this in ifc you can see we have a great grouping and great hierarchy in here this next one is our collada file that will have a better quality in geometry and also in uh, colors to do that go to the file and in here click on import and we have our collada file in here this is the collada file that we have let's bring it in and in here you can see you will have import units fix uh, lead bones and you can have some other parts that I want to do anything because I don't have any animations right now click on import and you will have your collada file too you can see it is really light but we have we are seeing some problems in here let's go to the render mode by pressing z let's go to the render mode and let's see it you can see we don't have any colors let's go to the revit file and let's click on export again and here you can see we have our textures but we don't have any colors if you know how to solve it please uh, comment down below and now it's the time to learn how to uh, export our blender files to our revit uh, project let's control n and let's create a new file and for example let's scale it with s and s and y again i want to scale it in this side press s and x for this side and press s and z for the height and also for example we have this part in here the three way that you can bring your uh you can export your blender files to revit you can have ifc files as we had there you can go to the file and can create an export and you will have industry foundation class again but it's not that great for geometry and also if you have dxf plugin for blender that you can install and export your files by dxf but the better way that i recommend is to export it by obj because it will have a better geometry and i think it is much smoother in comparison with the other way to do that uh, because obj will rotate this object we need to do something uh, we need to rotate all of our elements 90 degree in x uh, in x axis to have it correctly on our revit file if you would export this one uh, as it is uh, you can see it right now it will be vertical so we don't want to have that and to solve that problem we need to select our geometries and in the transformation and in the rotation part give it a 90 degree x rotation in this now we want to export our file to obj from here obj and let's save it now it's time to learn how to bring our obj file in to do that you need to go to the insert tab and click on import cad and this side select the obj file and you can bring it in click on open and make sure to put it on meter and let's go to the 3d and you can see we have it incorrectly make sure to subscribe and like this video to help youtube to reach this video to more people and if you want to learn how to export your revit files to lumion make sure to watch this video too i will see you on the next session